lovelies, this is Cherie from Divine Visions. I'm bringing you a pick a card reading for a special message this July. We're going to be looking at three different uh, readings today. Um, you can choose more than one if you wish to, but we've basically got the blue stone here. So they're going to be color ones. We've got reading blue. Okay, we've got reading green and reading pink. What it's going to be looking at is basically for those of you who may be in separation with your loved one or are undergoing challenges with your loved one right now. And we're just going to be basically focusing on what the theme or issue might be in the connection and some spiritual guidance that's available. Also what action the other person may take and the temporary outcome. So I'll give you a moment just to focus on the cards as to which ones you feel drawn to. So if you chose reading number one, uh, which would be color blue, <laughs> I always say numbers for these, I'm getting mixed up. So anyway, color blue, which would be reading number one anyway. Let's have a look at what the main theme is here regarding yourself and your loved one. And we've got courage, which is a beautiful card. I actually created this card, so this is my divine oracle. Um, so this is the Leo. It could be a Leo. It doesn't have to be. But it could be that you're a Leo or that they're a Leo. And it could be just um, a significant message for those who are connected with a Leo. Basically, what's going on with this is that courage is the issue. Somebody needs courage to step forward. Now, I am mostly reading the other person's energy. So I feel like this person needs courage to come forward or to commit or to do something. Let's have a look at what they need to do. This is my Divine Love Oracle. Okay, so then we've got regret. Oops, sorry. <laughs> what we've got here is regret. This would normally represent in tarot, this would be the five of cups. And the yellow rose here represents hope. Okay, so this person's holding hope, but they're sorry. They're feeling really sorry about what's happened in the connection. There does feel like there's a heaviness to their sorrow. Um, but once again, I do see that the yellow rose is um, represents hope for the future. This might be an issue, as we can see, the piano keys are quite old and it's been they've been worn out. And I feel this relationship sometimes has felt that um, these issues or the challenges just keep going over and over again, like the same issue keeps arising. Perhaps for some of you, will resonate with this. Um, but I do feel like this person does hold regret. They, I do feel the heaviness in the heart chakra um, regarding this person and how they're feeling and they're trying to find the courage to come forward perhaps to make an apology or just to come forward and tell you how sorry they are about the um, issues that have arisen. So let's have a look at what they really want to say using the divine love message cards that I created. I could only work with what I had at the time. So this person is now realizing, it's almost like they've become aware. It's almost like they were sleeping, you know. They weren't really uh, aware. It's almost like they weren't, um, they hadn't been awakened until something has happened, obviously, in the connection. And now they're feeling the sorrow. They might be really missing you. And so now they're feeling like, you know what, I'm starting to awaken to the patterns of this or what I need to change or whatever it might be. Um I do feel like there's been some kind of enlightenment um, within them right now regarding this, um, what they perhaps need to do now to make it right. Um, I could only work with what I had at the time, meaning the knowledge that they had at the time or the tools that they had, they could only work with. So what's their action that they're um, possibly going to take? This is the John Holland Psychic Heart, uh, Psychic Tarot for the Heart cards here. So what action could they possibly take? Well, we've got embrace. This is the um, the world. This is the embrace card. It's the end of a cycle. They want this 
to end like this this these issues this tension or whatever it is that's going on between the two of you they want this to end now they want to embrace a new chapter I feel and I do feel like it is with you I do feel like they want to embrace this with you um, it's like a fresh start like let's close up the old cycle and you know pave out a new fresh slate so this is what's going on what is the spiritual guidance for you this is the guardian angel tarot by Radley Valentine so seven of emotion your angels are asking you to make an important decision that you've been putting off it's likely you know which choice you should make, but you're procrastinating so you don't <clears throat> upset someone else. Ask heaven for guidance and then make the choice that celebrates who you truly are. So a lot of you have felt quite indecisive in this connection. Yes, you have this very strong connection with this person. You're feeling a pull towards them. You know, you can't forget them. You just, they can't get out of your mind. Um, this whatever's happened between you is quite heavy so the sorrow and the regret and everything and the sadness has been hanging around you know so it can be very hard to just make a decision and move on um, some of you have thought about that you know have felt that is it easier to just walk away completely from this or do I hold on is it going to change is anything else going to happen like will this person step forward and step up and do the right thing that's what I feel a lot of you are thinking here and, you know, it might be that some of you have really just fully withdrawn and put it into the other person's, like the ball into their court, basically, let them deal with it now. Like, it's almost like you've had enough, you've done enough, you've said enough. And what else can you do right now? So, you know, the only two options is to hang in there and wait or to let go and move on. And I feel like that the majority of you that I'm tuning into don't want to really move on. You do hold out hope, okay, for this connection, as does this person. Um, so I do feel like there is a strong potential for a lot of you to hold on to this and wait and see. Now, what is the temporary or potential outcome? This is the Animal Tarot by Radley Valentine. So we've got the Princess of Summer, and this says, Sensitive, kind, open-hearted, inexperienced. So it says, oh, it's beautiful, the dear. So you can expect to kindle a new romantic relationship or close, uh, or close platonic friendship. You may suddenly receive an emotional message from someone or be invited to a social event. Now, I really like this. I, I really feel this person's going to step forward. They're going to find the courage to step forward and say what they need to because they realize now that what they were working with in the past wasn't working. You know, it's not working for this connection. They want to embrace this uh, end of that cycle. They don't want to repeat the patterns. A lot of you are going to find that this person steps forward and offers an apology. And they want this fresh start. They want it to be, they want to fall in love again. You know, they want to, they want to feel this um, fresh energy with you. So you can expect to kindle a new romantic relationship or an existing one in this case. Um, and it seems to me also that you may not necessarily have them coming forward face to face. So some of them might actually send a message or email you um, or might even just, <laughs> it's almost like they're testing the water to see, you know, they might invite you to something to see what your reaction is. <laughs> so that's one aspect of looking at it, but it's good. It looks really good. I don't feel this is over yet, guys. There's still hope here okay so I hope that's helped you all right if you chose reading number two which would be the green crystal reading green we're looking at what the theme is or issues etc is and um, what we can do about this and what the other person's going to do what your loved one is going to do so we're going to start off with the love the, the divine oracle I should say that I created and the issue or the theme is improving health Hmm. When I look at this card, I feel that the energy has been depleted. Somebody is feeling drained from this connection. It may be that you're doing it yourself. You know, you might be going over it and over it and dwelling on it in your mind. It may be that just this, the issue between the two of you or the challenge that has arisen is draining the connection, you know, something that you might've gone over and over with together. But this is saying it's improving health. This has a, ch a chance or, a, um, yeah, there's a chance for this to grow. 
there's a chance to grow lessons in this as well. I mean, through every connection, we do learn lessons. Uh, sometimes we don't always necessarily learn the lesson until we really get the lesson, if you know what I mean. And it usually means that by the time we've gotten the lesson, we're just drained. So this is a chance right now for this to improve, okay? The health of this relationship or even yourself individually to improve. We are going to see the Divine Love Oracle that I created, what this is to do with. Well, we've got sincerity, well, this is really good because this shows that this other person, I'm tuning into their energy, they want this to improve. They actually are coming from a sincere place. In case you've been wondering, are they going to improve this? Are they going to um, change their outlook on this or their behavior towards this connection? They're coming from a sincere place or they're going to. Okay, that's a good thing. What do they actually want to say? Huh, I'm sorry. So they might actually step forward physically, you know, their higher self saying this, their, their inner selves are saying this, but it's, it's like, are they going to come forward and apologize? I actually feel that a lot of them are. I say a lot of them are like a lot of you I'm tuning into, a lot of your loved ones are going to come through sincerely and apologize um, because they want this to work. They want this to grow. They don't want it to be dead in, you know, in the water. They want this to grow. Um, they want to improve this. Let's have a look at what their uh, potential action will be. Okay, this says it all then. So at the moment, they're waiting. They're standing back, waiting to see what happens. So it's, it's, <laughs> it's almost like, okay, this is what they want to do. This is what they want to do, but they're not sure. They're kind of like just observing from a distance. And maybe you're really pissed. I don't know. But they're really uh, observing from a distance. You know, they could be watching you on social media or just testing the waters by, you know, they might even send casual messages or whatever that may over sort of like, uh, uh, what am I saying, skirting around the issue, you know, rather than getting to the nitty gritty of this. But this has been a huge thing between the two of you that has really set you apart. Um, and once again, we've got growth. We've got growth. We've got trees. They're sort of sitting back waiting to see, how far, like what have you invested in this already? You know, there's been a lot invested in this already, I feel. Even physically, this is the physical card. This is the material card. So it could be physically that a lot of you have put a lot of money into this together financially. Uh, could be a home that you've shared. You know, there's all sorts of ways of looking at this. There's ways that you have invested in this connection together. And it's not like you're just going to walk away from each other at this time. I just don't feel that kind of energy. I mean, it is, we all have free will. It could definitely happen, but there's no real movement right now. There's just a standstill going on. So it's almost like they're waiting and you're kind of sitting back waiting. None of you are both coming towards each other just now. Um, let's have a look at what the guardian angels are giving you advice on right here. This is uh, Radley Valentine's guardian angel tarot. Nine of emotion. So this is a magical time in your life when wishes are granted and dreams come true. It may seem that good luck is following you, but actually these happy times are your just reward for being a loving and wonderful person. Your angels are asking you to enjoy your life and have more fun. So really, your spiritual guidance is about being really focused on your own dreams and wishes and goals. Right now, while this is all happening, don't lose sight of your own dreams and goals. Like you need to be able to not allow life to just stop altogether because of this one thing, okay? I know they are a major person in your life. They are a major part of your life. But they're not every single thing of your life. It's saying embrace your passions, embrace your goals, allow your true um, magic to shine through in this, allow it into your life. Allow yourself to be um, finding your bliss apart from this relationship and connection. Sometimes it's a really good outlet to be able to do those things that you love doing. The things that you are creative with as well can take your mind off this heartache and, and tension, tension and stress, etc. So what is the potential or temporary outcome in this situation here? We've got uh, the animal tarot, Radley Valentine. 
So this is amazing. Life experience. This would be the tower card, I think, um, if I remember. The cuckoo, cuckoo, or cuckoo, I can't remember how you say that. Important changes are coming into your life that will require you to take action. Don't hesitate to move in new directions you know are right for you. So this is just amazing to me that we're talking about life lessons here as well, like the lesson in this connection, the lesson in this particular challenge, etc. This person does want to sincerely come forward, but they're not able to for whatever reason just now. Maybe they're still waiting for themselves to grasp the lesson. Maybe they are sorry and want to come forward, but don't know exactly how to. They may not feel ready to. They might not feel that they've actually really grown in this and gained the life experience that they need, that wisdom, etc., to make it right in the future. So this is possibly why there's also this time that, apart that needs to be had here. Or if you are in connection with each other, it's just that this is not being dealt with right now because they're just still trying to gain that wisdom and life experience through the life lessons, I feel. Now, it is saying that important life changes are coming. So it feels that um, because you're going to be focused, it does feel like you will be focused on these goals. You know, it could be career path. It could be your life mission, your life purpose, etc. Even with the other person, you know, they might try, choose to do the same thing, is that there's a lot of action being taken towards a new path. It doesn't necessarily mean you're letting go of one another, but you are putting your focus on things that are going to be very beneficial to your own growth, your career, your life uh, purpose, your passions, etc. And it's going to help you grow into a stronger person in yourself. And you may at one point decide whether you want to... Um, you know, go back into this, go back, revisit this chapter with this person, or you might find this person has grown and learnt their lessons along the way and will choose to move forward with you, you know. But it feels to me that you're going to excel right through this and sometimes we can outgrow a person, if that makes sense. So sometimes we can get the lesson, move on, grow wiser, grow stronger, and they're still stuck back at the other chapter, you know, that we've just left. Um, so this person really has a chance to look through this, you know, look within and not just outwardly, but look within and and seek out those lessons within themselves as well. And I feel like once you're able to do this, take this step forward and be strong in your own path and they see this, this may also entice them to do the same. So that's a really positive message overall for you. I hope that's helped you. Okay, if you chose reading number three, which would be the pink pink rose quartz here, the reading color num uh, pink. I'm always getting mixed up with the numbers and colors, but reading pink. Here we go. Let's have a look at what your theme is here. So we've got Libra, cooperative, partnerships, peaceful. This could be very significant for those of you who are a Libran or if your loved one is one. Okay, doesn't necessarily have to be, but if you are, it's a significant message for you guys. That this is what the main theme is, is that it's going to be about harmony, it's about balance, it's about cooperation in a, in a partnership. It's about finding and maintaining that peace in the connection. This is something that you guys, well, especially the other person too, because I'm connecting more into their energy, this is what they're wishing for, this is what their focus is on right now. So this is the divine oracle that I created. This is the divine love oracle I created. What is this about? So we've got within six months. Mm, so this could be the future six months that we're looking into. It could also be the last six months that you have been undergoing a lot of challenges and somebody's trying to keep the peace and not really go there. It's almost like someone's tiptoeing around things. You know, they're not really sort of like walking on eggshells and not necessarily wanting this huge confrontation. Um, and it might not have necessarily been one, um, but it does feel to me that over the next six months, there's definitely trying to smooth over um, all this past tension and um, heartache and stuff like that within the connection, any challenges that have arisen. There's definitely going to be this feeling from the other person that they're trying to, um, they're not wanting to rush in, put it that way. They don't want to rush in and fix this. I mean, they might want to, you know, but they're not, they're not doing that. They are taking their time. They 
I feel this person has done some inner work and also are aware of what is needed in the connection. So it does feel to me that they are looking into like a long-term thing here. What do they actually want to say to you? This is the divine love messages I created. It's saying, let's talk. Wow. Okay. So some of you may not be on, on talking um, terms right now. You might be completely in separation. There might've been a cutoff at some stage here. I'm getting also that this person might have been sitting on the fence. There might be commitment issues. So this is interesting because in the past, I'm feeling that there's been, it could be like an on-off kind of a relationship or just a feeling of when things get serious, someone's backpedaling and, and freaking out in this connection. So it's saying, let's talk. This person wants to talk. They want to get real. And maybe it's taking them a good six months to prepare for this actual talk. You know, um, cause I don't feel that this person's over you. I don't feel they want to let this go. I feel like it's more about they, know, they're aware that this is uh, an issue within themselves that they need to clear up as well. They're trying to find the balance and peace and cooperation in this. Let's see the action that they may take. Oh, wow. So we've got rebuild. This would be the tower card in the, ta in the traditional tarot where I call it the shit hitting the fan, divine intervention, everything can go wrong. You know, if it's going to go wrong, it will kind of thing. It seems to me that something collapsed in this, in this connection. It really did. And now they are going to rebuild it. They are wanting to rebuild not only themselves, but this connection. They want it strong. They're holding it close to their heart chakra. So this person really loves you. They really do care. They are finding that this connection is quite a prize to them. Like I feel like they, and I don't want to like sugarcoat everything like through my words, you know, it's not like that. It's, it's, I mean, I know there's been a lot of challenges. It's been bloody tough, but I'm seeing that this person really is holding this quite close to their chest. They really do um, appreciate you and the connection. They really do. Um, they may not have shown it much in the past, but it's really quite a deep thing here for them. It's almost like they've woken up to something or they're going to within themselves, okay, regarding the connection, regarding what you mean to them. So then we've got um, Radley Valentine's Guardian Angel Tarot. This is your specific um, guidance card for this connection. Helper of Emotion romance blooms and you find yourself falling in love gifts of flowers love letters and poems read aloud are all in your future oh my god marriage proposals weddings and past life connections are possible someone new who is romantic dreamy and emotional may enter your life this person could be an artist who's an idealist about love now what i see about this is it's almost like this person has reinvented themselves they're rebuilding themselves they're reinventing themselves um it could take a good six months to do. And it looks to me like they want to come back. And actually, when they do come back, it's for real. It's the real deal this time. They want to come back and actually commit. They want to show you their heart. They want to open up to you. They want they want to uh, show you the affection I'm hearing that you didn't receive before. So there might have been a bit of a closed book or just sometimes there and sometimes not there, you know, but it was kind of inconsistent but I feel like this person is wanting to come in and be consistent now this is amazing so then we've got Radley Valentine's um, animal tarot and this is the potential or temporary outcome so hummingbird you have an exciting reason to celebrate wow so such as an engagement wedding graduation or birth announcement remember to cherish those you love oh my god so there is two cards here which are definitely mentioning engagement, proposals, wedding. Oh my God, this is just amazing. So to me, this is this is definite. This is saying that this is like, I'm not, I don't want to say a definite because everyone's different, but far out. Like the people I'm tuning into that can really resonate with this message, this person's really not mucking around now. They want to come back. They want to show you that they are committed, that they love you. Now, what I'm seeing also is because it's your guidance card, it's also telling you, I feel, to have trust in this when this person does come back. Don't don't kind of look at it and shun them and reject them and think, oh, this is just 
bullshit, <laughs> you know, like is this a facade type thing? I feel like this person's really gone through their inner work. Um, part in the last six months or the next six months, there's a lot going on here with this six month period here. They're really trying to rebuild themselves. They're really trying to do that self work, and it's working because they're going to come forward and tell you that they want to be with you, that they want to commit. And this doesn't mean that, oh, my God, overnight they're just the perfect person for you, right? They've got flaws as well. They might stuff up in certain areas as well. But the intention's there. They are doing the work. And, I mean, the fact that they're coming through, it's almost like they've turned over a whole new leaf right now. So they're coming through um, with this energy and it's celebration, it's just beautiful. And it might be because a lot of you have put your foot down with something and you backed right off, okay? It might have been an ultimatum given or some kind of, it feels like that, where it was like, nah, you don't match my values, I don't want this, I'm moving on. And then this has somehow enticed them to really look within and change a lot about their own life. And I think that's amazing. So I hope that's helped you. And please feel free to comment below. And I look forward to connecting with you next time. Love and blessings. <laughs>